big eyes and red chubby cheeks. Pikachu is everywhere. Kids and adults alike love the little yellow Pokemon. So do licensing marketeers and production companies. The incredibly cute features of the minions Dora or Pikachu turn the adorable characters into literal gold mines. With Pikachu alone, the Pokemon company has built a licensing empire. You can find Pikachu on your cereal, eat it as a cake or dress your baby in a Pikachu costume. This year's Detective Pikachu has become the highest grossing video game movie of all time. How come cuteness is so profitable? To put it simple, Pikachu is a cleverly constructed lie that decepts our visual perception and manipulates our behavior. Scientists from Oxford University have identified cuteness as one of the most powerful driving factors of human behavior. The human brain identifies facial features like big eyes, puffy cheeks, a tiny chin and a disproportionately large head as cute. The combination of these features make up the so-called Kindchen Schema or baby scheme and they capture our attention like nothing else. Our brain automatically recognizes that these creatures rely on us and need to be nurtured and protected. In evolution, visual cues have proven to be very reliable and trustworthy. As a result, we have no defense mechanism against how we process the information we are presented with. What we see has an immediate effect on our brain. So what happens if visuals lie? If the visual elements making up cuteness are artificially enhanced, they hijack the brain and act as a so-called supernormal stimulus. That's what scientists call stimuli that are much more intense than any other stimuli that would occur in nature. An experiment showed that brooding geese neglect their own eggs if presented with white volleyballs. The volleyballs are larger, rounder and even whiter than their own eggs. The natural features of the eggs are enhanced and therefore manipulate the geese's perception. Pikachu essentially does the same thing. With its round eyes, luminous red cheeks, tiny nose and chubby body, it doesn't just resemble the characteristics of a young child. It imitates and enhances them to an unnatural degree. That way Pikachu embodies even cuter childlike features than an actual child. Pikachu is a supernormal stimulus. The Pokemon's cuteness engages with the human brain's reward circuit, particularly the nucleus accumbens. It releases dopamine, which functions as a motivational salience in this case, meaning it motivates the individual's behavior towards the subject at hand. The cuter the subject, the stronger the reaction in the brain. It is flooded with dopamine and focuses all of its attention on the reward. In this case, one incredibly cute Pokemon. Supernormal stimuli enter a sort of priority lane to board and hijack the brain. They receive lots of attention from us and may eventually trigger action. In form of purchase. Pikachu is obviously not a helpless creature that relies on our attention and needs to be nurtured and protected. However, our brain has a hard time making that distinction when looking at Pikachu's adorable little face. This effect is not just limited to adults. A study has found that even kids as young as three years old prefer cute faces over regular ones. Forget barely dressed ladies, puppies sell beer. Even animated characters like Mickey Mouse have gotten much cuter and more childlike throughout the years. Same goes for The Simpsons or Angry Birds. Pikachu itself got an upgrade for its movie with even bigger glossier eyes and a new fluffy exterior. But the supernormal cuteness factor goes further than animals and characters. Even Google's first self-driving car was somewhat adorable. Cuteness, no matter in which shape or form, is a powerful influence. It speaks to our primal instincts and manipulates the way we perceive reality. So count on things getting cuter and the next Star Wars episode featuring some new cute shigimajiggy. Gotta sell that merch, yo. Hey, we really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing to our channel. We have a lot more to come. What are your thoughts on this topic? Let us know in the comments. If you haven't seen it yet, check out our video on Shell's new marketing campaign. It features Kaylee Cuoco and oh boy, does it suck. Until then, see you next time.